staying in your flow. Throughout these new upgrades we're receiving cosmically, we are invited to stay attuned to them by staying in tune with our own individual flow. By following inner guidance that stays with us in each individual moment, we'll always be in touch with whatever new energies are coming to Earth. I hope you are doing well today. We are now officially into spring. We have survived the winter storms, most of us, and the cosmic shifts and elevations that have been coming to us from the divine for many months now. Some would say these cosmic shifts have been coming to us for even years now. What this constant array of changes that are occurring has been asking us is to stay present in the moment and to follow our inner guidance and direction at every step on our paths. This cannot always be easy. We have our habits and structures. We have our, quote, normal way of doing things. We believe we have created these structures in order to serve us, and for a time, they have served us very well. But what I have found is that we cannot keep doing the same things we have always been doing if we want to thrive in these new times. If we want to grow and change, we must stay present to the energies and shifts that are happening cosmically. These changes fall into our reality through what's happening in the world and ultimately what is going on in our own interior worlds. Now, if you're someone who has a lot on your plate, you may not always have the time nor the inclination to be paying attention to what's happening cosmically and how it translates into manifestation in the world. But what you can be doing is maintaining your own inner connection to Source, and by doing so, can find all manner and sort of miracles falling right into your lap. Let me give you an example of this from my own experiences recently. When I arrived in Munich and started looking around for where I would live, everyone told me that housing is really difficult in Munich, that it's impossible to find a place, and that you have to apply for an apartment like you apply for a job. But I never believe these things. When they tell me I can't do something, I just tune it out. Here's a quote from A Course in Miracles. God knows you now. He remembers nothing, having always known you exactly as he knows you now. The Holy Spirit's timelessness lies simply here. For in the holy instant, free of the past, you see that love is in you, and you have no need to look without and snatch it guiltily from where you thought it was. Of course, the miracles, chapter 15, the holy instant, and special relationships. Then there was the matter of figuring out where in the city I would be happiest. Where do I want to be? Munich is a very large city with over 2 million people. The neighborhoods are vast, expansive, all stretching out and emanating from its old city center. So where was I to begin? I spoke to a few people who directed me here and there, but nothing really stood out for me. Out of a snafu from an Amazon return, I ended up in a neighborhood and met this incredible Italian woman who was having a grand opening of her shop. I tell her my predicament, and she tells me immediately, I'm exactly in the right part of town. In fact, I was sharing with her how much I loved the area. There was no need to look any further, and I knew why. The love I felt in her heart in that meeting between us. It was God's way of showing me the simplest of solutions. Go here. It was the sign I was waiting for. Next, I know it will be just a matter of time before my new home is ready. I'm not obsessing about it. I will allow things to unfold. For the time being, I have a lovely long-term stay hotel with a kitchenette, and that's working out great. I have paperwork to take care of and so many other things to do. My new home will be ready when it's time. And this is how it works. There is no need for you to worry about anything. Everything will take care of itself given that you are paying attention to what you need to be doing in the now moment. 
Each day that goes by, you'll be led and guided, and you can live this way all the time. What other way could God give to you? P.S. If you'd like more private support with these sometimes challenging internal conflicts, please see the sessions or coaching tabs on my website. Much love and many blessings. Suzanne, 